Hello, good afternoon and welcome back to the David67 Celtic News YouTube channel. Uh, second short video for Wednesday the 9th of August. Uh, this video is to look at a um, couple of um, players linked to Celtic for loan or transfer uh, to cover the midfield positions and also a little bit of speculation regarding two ex-Celtic players who may be available for signing back at Celtic. The two players that are under consideration and on Celtic scouting radar for midfield are James McAtee and Tommy Doyle, both currently players in the Manchester Manchester City squad. Both Doyle and McAtee spent a very successful uh, season long, long loan at Sheffield United last season and were key factors in Sheffield United becoming promoted to the English Premier League. McAtee is 20 years old, a current England under 21 international and has been nicknamed the Salford David Silva. He is seen as a potential star or even superstar of English football, um, but given that Manchester City have quite a number of other midfield options with Bernardo Silva, Calvin Phillips, Kevin De Bruyne and Grealish amongst many others, it is thought that uh, McAtee's first team opportunities will be rather limited which, to allow him to progress his career. McAtee is on uh, is attracting interest for, from quite a few English championship clubs such as Southampton and also is thought to be on the radar for Brighton and Wolves AZ Alkmaar and Real Sociedad. However, with the links between Celtic and Manchester City by the City Group and previous successful loan moves for Jason Denier and Paddy Roberts and transfers of Olivier Encham and Jeremy Frimpong from Manchester City, uh, it would be a good option for McAtee to come to Celtic. This would guarantee him regular first team football and regular European football, well, at least up until Christmas. And this uh, would likely give him the opportunities and the exposure for him to progress his career. He is an attacking creative midfielder scoring nine goals in 21 games for Sheffield United last season, is um, likely to be a good option to go alongside O'Reilly, Turnbull in the more attacking um, areas for Celtic, uh, allowing Rio Tati and Callum McGregor to uh, do the more creative uh, and linking uh, aspects of midfield. He has a clear eye for goal and earlier in Man City's summer pre-season scored against Bayern Munich in a friendly. And so would clearly be a player with the potential to play at the highest level. This would be a good signing for Celtic um, and would be similar to uh, the success we had with Victor Manyama and um, Olivier Incham as examples, where we signed them, they improved under Celtic, gained exposure, gained experience, and they were transferred to uh, English Premier League, going on to greater success. The other option put forward similarly for a loan or transfer is Tommy Doyle, also an England under 21 international, age 21, um, more of a defensive midfielder with very good um, 
statistics last season at Sheffield United in breaking up moves, tackling and successful short distance passes. He, however, unlike McAtee, appears more keen to carry on being part of the Man City team and is looking more for a loan rather than a transfer. McAtee would be a good option, I feel, for a loan for one season with a view to permanent transfer at a set fee at the end of this coming season. Tommy Doyle um, is being closely linked to a loan move for this season to Wolverhampton Wanderers and this would seem a more likely venue for him uh, to be transferred or loaned to. The other couple of interesting potential moves for Celtic with the guard covering um, attacking midfield and wide left midfield would be um, Tom Rogic, uh, our previous star Australian attacking midfielder who had many successful years at Celtic, then left to move to um, West Bromwich Albion where his season wasn't wholly successful and left them in May of 2023 and remains without a club. Um, there has been previous interest for Rogic coming from Saudi Arabia and so with the influx of so many uh, players from uh, Scottish and English leagues and other major leagues in the world to Saudi Arabia this would may, may well be an option that Rogic is exp exploring. However, review of various transfer rumour sites and Transfer Market UK, um, there does not appear to be any concrete uh, moves for Rogic at the moment. And so I think Celtic would uh, could well be well advised to offer Tom Rogic a couple of years contract, two or three years contract, similar to that which we offered Aaron Moy last season. Moy was a success at Celtic um, and became one of Celtic's key players towards the end of 2022 and the start of 2023. However, unfortunately, um, his later, um, later in the 2023 season, he appeared to miss quite a number of games through injury and in the summer decided to retire for a combination of family reasons and fitness reasons. Tom Rogic clearly was a great player for Celtic, um, very capable of coming off the bench last 15, 20 minutes and changing the way a game was progressing with a key pass to set up a goal, uh, key assists, and obviously on many occasions, uh, late goal such as against uh, Aberdeen in the cup final where he weaved his way into the box and then a very uh, clever shot to uh, win the cup 2-1 for Celtic. At the age of 30 he still has a number of years ahead of him at the highest level and could well be a very uh, good option for Celtic to have on the bench in European matches to come on late in the game to uh, change the course of the game towards a victory or salvaging a draw. Less likely option for Celtic would be uh, re-signing Karamoko Dembele. He had a very glittering youth team and B team career at Celtic and had a number of um, substitute appearances, uh, including scoring one goal in that time. He seemed to lose favour under Ange Postacoglu's two seasons at Celtic, um, also complicated by a, a significant ankle fracture in a pre-season friendly that cost him much of the previous season. And he left Celtic uh, last year on a free transfer, moving to Stade Brestois in the French First League. However, his time at Brestois has not been uh, successful and he has made, he made only one first team start with 16 uh, substitute appearances and did not score at all last season. 
and the indications are from Stade Brestois that he is surplus to requirements and so a move back to the UK is on the cards. Currently he is being linked with Blackburn Rovers in the English Championship um, but a move back to Celtic would also be an option. He was a very successful, very promising player for Celtic and possibly a um, couple of years with Brendan Rodgers um, as his manager would be a success for both Dembele and for Celtic to turn the massive potential he showed in his younger age, making his beating debut at 13, uh, moving into the first team or squad later um, under Neil Lennon, but as I said, lost favour under Ange Postacoglu, with some people questioning his uh, mentality, his application. However, a player of such, such talent, such potential, uh, is an ideal player for Brendan Rodgers to uh, develop into the star player he would appear to have been in his younger age. Hopefully over the next couple of weeks or so, the um, loans or transfers for McAtee, Doyle and for uh, our ex-players Dembele and Rogic will all become clearer. And of the four, I feel McAtee and Rogic would both fit very well into Celtic's squad um, and help us both in our domestic and European matches. So thank you very much for uh, listening today. Uh, speak to you again tomorrow. Goodbye now.